Hello everyone, I'm Apoorva Pandita and you're watching Live Law. If you've ever been involved in a criminal case, you might have heard the term charge sheet. But what exactly is a charge sheet? The term charge sheet is defined under section 173 of the Code of Criminal Procedure. It is also known as a charge sheet or a final report. This is basically a legal document that is filed by the police after completing their investigation and before the commencement of the trial. During an investigation, the police gather evidence such as witness statements, forensic reports and other documents. Once the investigation is complete, the police then files the charge sheet in the court having jurisdiction over the case. But what exactly does it contain? Some very important details are to be mentioned in the charge sheet like name, the nature of the information and the kind of offences, whether the accused is under arrest, in custody or has been released, whether any action has taken against him and many more details like these. There is another very important thing that we need to know that the police is bound by the law to file this charge sheet within a prescribed time. It has to be filed within a prescribed period of 60 days or 90 days, depending on the type of offence. Let me put this in a more simpler version. So as you all know that every offence does not have the same gravity. In certain grave offences like murder, the police will obviously require more time to conduct a thorough investigation and so the time for filing the charge sheet is 90 days. And for certain other offences which are not so grave, the police generally have to file the charge sheet within 60 days. But then what if the police does not file this charge sheet within the prescribed time? In this situation, the accused will be entitled to a bail by default. Section 167 of CRPC provides for the grant of default bail to an accused if the police fails to file a charge sheet within a stipulated period of either 60 days or 90 days in the court of competent jurisdiction. Now, as we have discussed before, the charge sheet contains a summary of evidence gathered during the investigation and lists the charges against the accused. After this, the court then examines the charge sheet to determine whether there is enough evidence to proceed with the trial. Although, let me tell you, the charges contained in the charge sheet are not final in nature. On the basis of the charges which are mentioned in the charge sheet, the court or we can say the magistrate then frames the charges. So we can say that framing of charges in a court takes place on the basis of the charge sheet. But then there are also certain instances where the court is not satisfied with the investigation or the magistrate believes that the investigation conducted by the police is not fair or not sufficient then in these cases, the court can always order for further investigation. This has been mentioned under section 173, subsection 8 of CRPC. But otherwise, if no further investigation is required, the trial will begin on the basis of the charge sheet submitted. And during the trial, the prosecution will rely on the charge sheet to present its case against the accused. The accused will have the opportunity to cross-examine the witnesses and challenge the evidence presented by the prosecution. If the court finds the accused guilty based on the evidence presented by the prosecution, it will then convict the accused and pass the sentence. However, if the court finds that the evidence is insufficient to establish guilt beyond a reasonable doubt, it will acquit the accused. So in summary, now we know that a charge sheet is a legal document that is filed by the police after completing their investigation into a criminal offence. It forms the basis of the case against the accused and is an important part of criminal justice process. And that brings us to the end of this video. Hope you liked it and if you did, then do not forget to like and subscribe to our channel. And for more legal updates, keep watching Live Law.